the real problem with video, in video physics is that when you have lines, it's much harder to calculate everything. So a sphere made out of lines on a line grid is going to be really hard to render realistic physics at any speed. I mean, the computer is going to say, what the fuck are you even asking me to do? But I mean, I wasn't thinking about it right. I had some sort of a convoluted theory about spheres interacting with, uh, you know, like being placed. But no, all that needs to be taken into account because it's flat lines is one 3.14 algorithm because it's always an example of a sphere if something's rolling because we don't really get more complex than that in most video games anyways. Uh, the object is simply, if it's going to roll at all, that's why it's usually spherical, just you're recalculating 3.14 against the current position it's, it is in the environment. So you just have a simple algorithm of how fast it's moving, like regular, then 3.14 is just being read, like, you know, fed into the algorithm to know how it would act, interact with each point of it based on the infinite expanding numbers of 3.14. But at a certain rate and speed to where it's not even being calculated at faster than the physics need to be rendered. Because, you know, when you're calculating 3.14 expanding it all you're doing is saying that there's more rounding happening within the roundness and that algorithm can be brought right over to the algorithm of something rolling down a hill because it's like saying it's round as it goes down the hill more round and hence picking up more speed as it rolls in sort of a realistic physics way maybe i'm a retard and i'm thinking about it all wrong well are you uh are you recording? Yeah.